Hey guys, it's me, Fire Alarm 19122, and welcome back to another video. Let's get right into the video. So, I'd like to start off by apologizing for my lack of uploads lately. Uh, I've been pretty busy, and I've also been figuring out stuff with the system, but I, it's finished for the most part. I still have some stuff I gotta do to this system, but for now, it's presentable. Um, there's expansions. Uh, I'll get to that in a second, but there's some different, there's some changes in the system that I'm about to go over, but yeah, so we basically have the uh, same uh, EFSC controlling the upstairs portion of my house now, it's not just my bedroom. I took the labels off because the labels are inaccurate, were inaccurate, and resistors, um... I got a label maker, I labeled everything now. So this is fire alarm control panel. So if we come up here, we have a uh, regular 541 AFT uh, thermal and photoelectric smoke detector. And then up here we have a ESC Genesis G1F VM. Uh, this is NAC2 and this is IDC3 indicating circuit three. Uh, but there's some wire mold right here. Where does that lead? Well, it goes into that junction box, and uh, if you can read that label, it's giving you a hint. But we'll get to that in a second. Everything's still the same in here. Uh, I still have the the smoky, uh, the the low frequency sounder horn, and I still have the pole station. But it's just the only difference is everything is labeled now. See so NAC NAC one, IDC one. IDC2, but there's some new wire that goes outside. Um, let's go check that out. I'm outside where that wire leads and it goes into this wire mold and it goes up into this ESG Genesis G1F HDVM horn strip. Uh, Candela is 15 Candela. Um, I think the one in the panel room is 15 Candela too. So. And then I also have the uh, system sensor 2424TH heat and photoelectric smoke detector. Um, this won't remain the same. Uh, I just, I have to order another smoke detector. Like I said, I have more parts that I need to get for the system. But for now, it's presentable, like I said. But that isn't all with the system. There is one more expansion. Um, and let's go check it out right now. I'm here in my attic. Uh, sorry that, about the noise. My uh, AC is running. Um, but if we go over here just a little bit more, we have a Edwards 270 SPO underneath the uh, STI stopper. And then if we come up a bit, we have an ESC Genesis G1RF BM multi-candela strobe set on 15 candela and a Chemitronics heat detector, uh, IDC3, NAC2 EOL, and NAC, or IDC3 EOL, end of line. And that's where that wire goes, over there. I don't know if you can see it, but, I don't know if my camera's gonna focus, but yeah, see, right there. But yeah, that's the whole system for right now. Um, let's go ahead and pull the fire alarm. The horn strobe is really loud, so it'll, I'll probably be pretty quick to silence the alarm, but we're going to go ahead and pull the attic fire alarm to start off the test. Three, two, one. And the alarm outside is going off. As you can see, IDC3 is activated. Let's go ahead and reset that pole station. I'm here at the 270 SPO and we're gonna go ahead and reset it. Switch. Everything is reset in here. Put the stopper back on. There you go. Back to the heat detector, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the other pole station wall. Uh, I still can. All right, I'm at the other pull station and we're gonna go ahead and pull it. Neighbors 
viewers are probably wondering what the hell is going on now. Since the pulsation's on IDC2 and this smoke detector's on IDC1, I guess I'll go ahead and do this one. There we go. It's going to go off. Set it since some of these devices are on the same zones. I'm gonna go ahead and do this uh, panel room smoke and thermal to get it out of the way. There we go. There's that strobe in action. Since the heat detector is on the same zone, we're gonna go ahead and reset it. Now at the in the attic at the heat detector, I'm gonna go ahead and take this down and do the hack where you uh, touch the terminals together. So here we go. reset it that's gonna do it for this monthly system test thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and have a good day